Chapter 16 The Magic of Music To the average man, music consists of a succession of sounds arranged harmoniously for our entertainment. The mysterious influence of music, its deeper effect, is hardly felt consciously, and so man remains strangely ignorant and unmindful of the magic power that music has. I want you to realize this tremendous fact from the very beginning. You are continually affected, adversely or otherwise, by the vibrations of music which surround you. If you would live happily, realizing all your dreams, remember that music is a channel through which the law of harmony works, and as such may be used as a channel to better health, peace, love and aspiration. Perverted music, with its erratic rhythms and jarring discords, which blare out to you from the radio, jukeboxes and the like, can actually cause unbalanced emotions of a primitive nature. Fear, aggressiveness and so on. The vibration from this type of music can damage the nervous system for good if you hear too much of it. Your choice in music can decide what dimension you can reach and what help you can get. Listen only to those presentations that really inspire, that are harmonious, soft and lovely. You can banish negative conditions with this sort of music, but not with the jerky, jazzy kind. If you are depressed or mentally sick, the value of tone harmonies cannot be sufficiently emphasized. The sound of a beautiful melody can solve many a complicated situation, nor does its influence end there. Its power is versatile and extends over a variety of mental and physical and even spiritual distresses. Be careful about the music you allow to enter your consciousness, for the tonal qualities aid or hinder your power to work magic far more than you realize. Discordant music is not for you. Somebody hits somebody with a bottle, that's the way it is. It does not make for peace and harmony, it affects the mind in a bad way, whether one realises it or not. The world today needs harmony. Do not play on the strings of life out of tune. Listen to the music of beautiful voices, the song of a bird, the mighty strains of an orchestra, the plaintive tones of a sweet melody as if tomorrow you will be stricken deaf. Use your ears as never before. You let music be become dear to you. Harmony is the basis of beautiful music, and harmony is the basis of a beautiful life. I know a lady who was anxious that her unborn child should have a love of music when it was born. Whenever she relaxed, she sent the unborn child thoughts of music and love of music. Then she would play beautiful music on her record player. The child eventually born to her had a great soul for music and by the time it was old enough to play the piano soon became a brilliant musician. Likewise, you can talk to the subconscious of a sleeping child regularly each night desiring it to love good music and the day will come when this is so for the subconscious never fails. It has been recorded that recently doctors tested a number of babies' reaction to a mother's heartbeat. The soft beating sound was played to them and they fell asleep contented. It was good music to them. As soon as the music stopped, they awoke and cried. There is no lovelier music to a baby than the sound of its mother's heartbeat. They are soothed by it. A big China musical pig helped little children to survive the awful tragedy of the ill-fated Titanic. The music of the pig helped to stop the children crying, keeping up their spirits until rescue time. This true story was told by Edith Russell, an American visiting London, who was a first-class passenger on the Titanic. The music worked for those children. A man, on discovering that his potted ivy 
curled over at the leaf edges, wondered if his Dizzy Gillespie LP was driving him mad. He approached Cyril Scott, the composer, who believes that plants react sensitively to music. He suggests that you can tone them up by playing something sympathetic and that you disturb them terribly with neurotic jazz. You may think this is crazy, but I believe it is quite possible. I respect Cyril Scott, whose works influenced Elgar and Debussy. Quote, I have heard that if you subject plants to a sustained note of C, they flourish, unquote, he says. C is very suitable for plants. An American researcher studying the effects of playing a gramophone in a field of wheat discovered that music in the distance had a very good effect on the wheat, but very near it had a disturbing effect. Try rearing your plants with Debussy's Gardens in the Rain. The Himalayans give you sound to concentrate on. The name of the sound must never pass your lips. But when you want to relax, you listen to it. And when you really get good at listening, you can get in touch with the super conscious, or what Jesus called Father, or what the Buddha called the Oneness, or what scientists now call quantum consciousness. Super conscious. Your subconscious is your right brain, which can attune itself to the superconscious, which is the one's energy pervading in within everything in the whole universe. It may not be so long before you are offered music as an alternative to anaesthetic. Already many people in America and some in this country have had teeth extracted without a local anaesthetic. Instead, they have had the soft, soothing music of the classics. There has never been a whimper from those in the chair. Doctors who have carried out these experiments believe that music is felt in the same part of the brain that responds to pain. They believe that the sound of music can block off the brain's reaction to pain by jamming the signals from the nerve centers which are affected. Such is the magic of music. I know a woman of 85 who always plays the piano before breakfast. She looks remarkably younger than her years, and I am sure this has had to do with something with it. She starts the day right and in harmony. I am about to leave my wife, a man once said to me. When we were married, she seemed a perfect wife. Now, after only two years, we are through. Only she doesn't know it yet. I shall go home tonight, as usual, and switch on the radio, and she will moan, I'm fed up with that music. I will start reading, she will moan. You always stick your nose in a book. Then he said, I shall lay the book down and switch on the music again, and she will moan, music, music, I'm sick of it. And then I shall walk out. I'm fed up with her continual moaning about music. Are you a beat, Fen? Music it may be of a kind, but it is not the least bit helpful to you as far as magic is concerned. It is a raw kind of music, usually played by those with a beatnik style of appearance, tight jeans and black leather jackets. This earthy type of music can send you silly, if you listen to enough of it. Our studies have shown, I believe, that rock and roll music has if I remember correctly, the highest vibration, even above the classics. I think it was Hawkins' Power vs. Force, now I have to look it up again. So can music cure sick minds? Good music, I mean. If mental patients listen consistently to good music, can it eventually calm them into normality? Hebziba Menuhin, the concert pianist and sister of violinist Yehudi Menuhin claims that it can. Music is a mysterious thing, like the mind, she says. Perhaps that is why I have founded a language that speaks directly to even lost minds. Between concerts and recording sessions, Hebziba 
spends much time in mental hospitals playing, singing and talking to patients. She mixes even with dangerous lunatics in her belief that she can cure true music. In Australia, three hospitals have paid tribute to this novel approach to mental patients which, unlike the dangerous medical methods of so many drugs, may prove to be a humane contribution to the constructive treatment of mental illnesses. I absolutely agree with Yehudi Menuhin's sister. Music is the finest tranquilizer there is. I have often caught myself thinking so and so has started to look unhappy. He is unhappy either because he is mentally disturbed or he is going to become mentally disturbed because he is unhappy. Whatever your age, the real key to your health is a state of happiness. And nothing makes for happiness more than music of the right kind. Debussy once said, To music only is it given to capture all the poetry of night and day and of the earth and of the heavens, to reconstruct the atmosphere, then record the rhythm of the heartbeats. Unquote. Many people will doubt Hebzibel's idea of music being a cure for the sick mind, but if you believe that music can get your mind well again, it will. In Beethoven's case, music was a challenge to his deafness, which he accepted and over which he triumphed to his enduring glory. The power and magic of music should never be underrated. I think Martin Luther summed it up very truly when he said that music makes people milder and gentler, more moral and more reasonable. Music is our fourth great material need. First food, then clothes, then shelter, then music. To quote Martin Luther again, music is the art of the prophets. The only art which can calm the agitations of the soul. Where you have no agitation of the soul, you have no sickness of the mind. And another quote springs to mind. Music washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. People need to occupy their hands if they would get their minds better. To phys the physical employment of the hands at an instrument in conjunction with the mental employment of producing music, cannot but have the most beneficial effect upon anyone whose nervous system is slightly disturbed. More than this, I think that since music must be recognised as a message to the spirit, there must be a host of mental sufferers whose condition may well have come about simply because they have not heard all the music that they should have done. Deny the soul what it needs and our minds become sick. Slowly, inevitably, we all go to pieces unless something is done about it. Music leads us to a higher plane, higher dimensions, higher vibrations, and it works magic. Many cases could be quoted to assure you of this, but for the moment let me tell you about the young Lloyd Franklin. Only three years ago, Lloyd, a boyish-looking Londoner, sang for his supper because he was broke. Yes, he was penniless. He became a dishwasher in a London coffee bar for 15 shillings at night. But he was a guitar, but he had a guitar and guts. He went abroad as a courier and swatted at the language rather than have fun dancing to flamingo music. He was that poor. Somebody heard him playing his guitar and invited, invited him to a party where famous people were present. And that was how he met the Woolworth heiress, Barbara Hut Hutton. His music excited her, and her eyes never left him. That was how one of the richest women in the world came to make a close friend of Lloyd Franklin. Now a super-luxury bachelor flat is being prepared for him in Paris. He flies around the world in a private plane. He has a Rolls Royce embellished with his regimental crest, he was once in Her Majesty's lifeguards. He lives in splendour in a secluded bungalow in a sun-soaked Africa. And among his friends are princes and millionaires. 
screen stars and television idols. As long as he lives, he will never have to worry about money anymore. The flamenco music he played on his battered old guitar worked magic. Because it attracted Barbara Hutton, who from that moment turned his life into a fairy tale. I have told you how flowers work magic, how colour works magic, and now give thought to music. It worked magic for Lloyd Franklin, and it can work magic for you. It even works magic for the cows in the farmyard, for we are told, when milked music, they give more and better milk. Farmer W. J. Roberts of Barrow, Suffolk, had 1,500 pigs, and they fought so much that he was worried. They wouldn't fatten quickly enough. Now he gives them the light program on the radio all day. They listen to the archers, Beethoven, and dance music, and he says that they are now very contented. It has solved his problem and worked magic with the pigs. Gerard Parkinson, the well-known artist, gets inspiration for him for his paintings from music. When he's working on a stormy picture, he likes to hear Rimsky, Korsakov, or Sibelius. When it's a subject when calls for a calm mood, he is soothed and helped by Debussy or Chopin. The twist leaves him cold. Nothing can be gained from this type of music unless it is, unless it is a nervous breakdown. A lady told me the other day that she always listened to the music of Menotti. It helps me so much, she said. Am I helped by music? Before I give a performance of magic, I listen to music in my desk dressing room. I attach great importance to music. My favourite composers are Puccini, Rimsky, Korsakov, Lehar, Verdi and the young crowned king of Vienna, Johann Strauss. I have a large collection of long playing records which can nearly always be heard playing whether I am at home or backstage.